My name is Andrew Webb and I'm a first day instructor here at East Kent College. I'm going to show you some life-saving techniques for someone who is choking. Right here we have an adult mannequin who is showing the signs of choking, so we've got skin discoloration and they're opening their mouth with their tongue hanging out, a sign of panic in their face. What we need to do is to establish that person is choking, so what we're going to say is are you choking? Simple as that. Are you choking? Then he'll be able to nod his head or may speak purposefully to tell us that he is choking. If he shakes his head to say no, this could be something more serious like anaphylaxis, anaphylactic shock, which I will do a very short video, so look out for that on anaphylaxis. Now this casualty right now is choking, so he's nodded to say yes he is choking. Next what we're going to do is encourage the casualty to, to cough. Can you cough for me? We're going to leave them on our arm and encourage to cough. Next, what we're going to do is five back blows. We're going to do this in between their shoulder blades. We've got one heel of one hand, and we're going to hit them quite hard. Two, three, four, five. To get encourage the object out of the mouth. That's what we're doing. So those are called five back blows. This is then followed, after we've done five back blows, we then follow it by five abdominal thrusts. How we do abdominal thrusts? is we use our fist, like so, we put it onto the casualty's abdomen, we put the ha other hand over the top and we push in and up, in and up. What that's doing is forcing air up the windpipe to remove the object. So we do five of those. One, two, three, four, five, each time. Now we're checking each time on our back blows and our abdominal thrusts that the object has come out. Now if the object's come out, obviously, um, we're going to reassure our casualty and sit them down. We don't want to be giving them back blows or abdominal thrusts unnecessarily. Okay? So, we've just, as I've just shown you, I've done one cycle so far. Five back blows, five abdominal thrusts. Now, this ha the object hasn't come out, so we continue the process by doing a second cycle of five back blows and five abdominal thrusts. This still has not worked. So we do a third cycle. Five back blows and five abdominal thrusts. Okay? Now, um, if that has not worked, has not been at all successful, then the blockage is still in there. We need to get help. It's really important. So we shout for help. Help someone, help. Call me an ambulance. So once we know and establish that the ambulance is on its way, we then carry on the process by doing five back blows followed by five abdominal thrusts. Okay? Now, if in turn the object comes out, fantastic. If not, um, we have then got more serious situation where the objects have gone further down in the windpipe and created a complete blockage here. The casualty is not breathing and may pass out. If they do that, we need to support the head so they're on the ground, laying on the ground. We then would start CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. When do we stop the CPR? Well, we stop the CPR when medical help arrives, we become exhausted, or the casualty shows signs of consciousness. That is how you deal with an adult that is choking.